Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Nsanga from Techno Buffalo, and in today's video we're going to be checking out Knights and Dragons for iOS and Android. Now, if you're a big fan of turn-based RPGs like Pokemon or Final Fantasy, I think you'll like this game a lot. Knights and Dragons blend together several different game styles in an attempt to produce something with a little more depth than your typical mobile game. Now, it reminds me a little bit of Clash of Clans and Final Fantasy mixed into one. You'll be able to build an armor smith, resources, and other buildings to level up your character, and you'll be able to build and buy your armor too to make your character stronger as the game progresses. So the gist of the game is you'll get quests or missions to do, and once you finish one mission, you'll be able to accept a new quest. It's all pretty straightforward, and you'll be able to collect rewards when you finish a certain quest. Combat is mostly automatic, but you'll be able to trigger special attacks when the special bar in the corner fills up. Now, from my experience, it's much better to save that special attack for the boss when his health is low so you can get special items after the fight. Mostly every attack in the beginning is a one hit kill until you reach the boss and also there aren't any potions or items to use since the battle is automatic. Once one of your character dies he or she is out of the battle and you'll have to wait for his or her health to either fill up or if your team levels up or use some of your gems and heal your character. Now if you want to earn gold, keys and other items another way, hit up the arena once you unlock it. The arena is essentially a PvP mode in the game. You're gonna go against other people and you'll get rewards throughout the battle when you accumulate a winning streak. You won't be able to level up through the arena though, but you'll get some pretty cool items nonetheless. You can also join a guild or create your own if you want to partake in a guild war. Just like the arena, you can get tons of cool items, but I thought the guild wars offered better items. Now there are a ton of areas that still need to be unlocked on my map, and once you level up and finish a certain stage, for example Relic Ruins, I had to go through each star in order for me to unlock Thieves Cove. And I have to pretty much do the same thing here, beat the level 5 times to unlock the next stage. It does sound very repetitive, but it actually gets pretty addicting. It makes you want to keep playing the game, level up, unlock new armors, and so on. It's like collecting Pokemon cards back in the day. You know what I mean. And speaking of collecting and unlocking new stuff, like I mentioned earlier, when you beat a boss with a special attack, the boss will sometimes drop a silver key. Now what this does is you'll be able to open up a silver chance chest, which have special armors to equip or special stones to use to craft armor. There are other chests too that uses a different key and gems, and you'll be able to unlock better rings and amulets and better armor. While Knights and Dragons can be a pretty addicting game, the only thing I didn't really like about the game were the graphics and animations. Graphics aren't up to par with some of the other mobile games available for both iOS and Android, but with these things aside, Knights and Dragons is definitely worth a look. It's free to play, and it's available for both Android and iOS. Now here's my friend code if you want to play a game with me, or if you want to start a guild together, you can add me there. What do you guys think of the game? Let us know in the comments down below, or if you guys have any suggestions on which apps or games we should check out, just let us know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe button is right here. I think it's right here. I'm Mark Sanger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next one.